everybody. Welcome to the latest workshop updates. In this video, we'll see a few things we've completed over the last two weeks, both inside and outside the building at Woody Bay. Uh, we start here inside the building. As you can see, the main run of lighting is now complete. This is a big achievement, thanks to our electrical engineer. Many, many hours of work over the last couple of weeks. A huge amount of thought and design went into the actual placement of the lights and the cabling. So we got what we think is the best possible layout inside the building. There's very little shadow, uh, as little as can, can be possible. Um, good lighting all around the building for future working, obviously, as well. Uh, lights are LED units. They're fairly expensive, but hopefully that should be worth it in the long run. Um, very high level of illumination, as we say, and hopefully uh, low maintenance as well as a very low running cost. Uh, elsewhere inside the building, we can see the uh, gantry crane in a bit more detail, as was briefly touched upon in the last video. Uh, that's fully installed. Uh, haven't been used yet, obviously, but waiting to go when we need it. Uh, the pit work, the steel work in the pit has been painted. Um, not sure it's going to have a bit more paint in it potentially in the future, but that's given a nice little RLR touch to it there. And the building, as you can see, is uh, well, it's completely empty now. This is to allow for the floor to be painted over the next couple of days, uh, which will coat the floor with the resin-based paints. This will give it a, a non-slip and a wipe clean, wipe clean surface. Uh, so any oil spills or anything else that may get spilt that would normally be absorbed straight into the concrete forever. Uh, this should be hopefully protecting the concrete for a good, uh, good couple of years to come. So next steps inside the building over the next couple of weeks, the floor will be painted and once this is done, the open coaches can be brought back from the containers at Willow Lawn, uh, which will allow us to get the railway back to well, achieving a little bit more normality in terms of operations. Uh, the cabling will then start to be completed gradually around the building. The cable tray is complete, as has been mentioned before. Um, and then gradually just fitting the building out to a usable condition, really. Um, fixtures and fittings, etc. Long way to go still, but um, the floor being painted is the next major step, and that will turn the building into actually an operational building. We can start to fill up with things. So that's the next step inside the building. In the yard area here at Woody Bay, a few more jobs have been completed over the last couple of days. We can see a nice sleep wall has gone in here, giving a separation between the track on the left-hand side and the rest of the yard on the right-hand side. Keeps the ballast where it should be, keeps the track nice and stable. Eventually we'll have a nice concrete path on the right-hand side of the wall into the yard area here to allow safe access for volunteers and visitors during open days. The point lever nearest to us, this has changed size to allow the sleeve wall to be installed. Also makes more sense and looks a bit neat to having both the levers in the same position on the same side. The carriage head point lever, point number seven, we see here. This has had a fair bit of tension over the last couple of weeks after causing a few headaches, uh, not quite operating correctly in all cases. A uh, nice and neat sleeve wall has gone around the back of it, stopping ballast getting underneath the mechanism when operating. And also a bit of uh, adjustment and grinding on the stretcher bar and the switch rails, just ensuring it's operating correctly and is uh, not a risk for derailing any coaches into the carriage shed. So eventually, uh, the main line alongside the carriage shed point is going to be lifted by another two inches uh, to even out the gradient and um, make the carriage shed approach hopefully a bit more level. Uh, the two tracks into the carriage shed, these will both be re-sleepered with our standard stage three size sleepers. The sleepers here at the moment are still the original 2001 laid sleepers. Uh, some of which are starting to give up the ghost very gradually. So plenty of work to do outside at Woody Bay still, but good progress being made. You see here the double gates have been installed at the front of the building today by Drayton Fencing. Uh, these are the old gates from the back of the workshop, now been moved up to the front to make good use of them. Uh, the rest of the fencing hopefully should be completed very soon. A uh, nice finishing touch to the outside of the building and uh, obviously keeping the site a bit more secure as well. Between the uh, PUA shed and the carriage shed here at Woody Bay, uh, a little start has been made on the concrete path between the buildings just to make the area safe around the tap. Uh, should have been done quite a while ago really uh, for walking over and accessing the tap. So a few slabs have gone down, nice new neat bit of concrete, uh, neat as it can be really in the time we had available. And the path behind us, we're gradually going to uh, lay slabs down here as the main walking route towards the new workshop eventually. Uh, but it's safe to walk over at the moment, nice compacted type one hardcore base. Eventually, a nice smart path will go down here towards the building. We can see here the new lathe is now on site. It's a refurbished Colchester Mascot 1600. It's only seen very light use at university during its previous life, more than suitable for our requirements, and a big upgrade on the old lathe, which is now long gone. Uh, it's waiting here on the flat wagon, ready to be installed into the building once the floor's been painted into its new home, 
and should give a good service over the coming years. Just to finish off with, here's a shot of Robert at the back of the carriage shed. Uh, he's been a bit neglected recently over the last couple of months, unfortunately, due to the very, very heavy workload with the workshop project. But sooner rather than later, he should be moving outside and good to see him back on the railway.